Yo, hey guys, welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up Studio Emulator. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, all you want to do is you want to join my Discord link in the description. And you want to go open Studio and open the archive, the second link. But all you want to do is you want to go to Studio, download the t t tar z x z at the bottom, like the for Windows. But you can download anyone depending on what you're on. If you're on Android, Linux, or Mac. And then you want to go to like the Internet Archive. And you want to click on Zip. And then just download keys and firmware. And then once you're done with all of those. You can go into your downloads. Make sure to extract every single one of these. Uh, and by the way, I'll link for um, WinRAR in the dis WinRAR, I think it's called, in the description, because you will need that for this tutorial to get some games. But anyways, also be careful where you get your games, because if, if they might be ratted or I don't know, in some way they could be. But anyways, um, and then if now all you want to do. You want to find your studio. I'm gonna open mine and just make sure to extract it. You want to double click on it, and it should say this is fine for now, though. What you want to do is you want to go to File, Open Studio Folder, and then you want to go to Keys. And there should be nothing in there. You want to double click on Keys, just drag these in. Then we can close this and close Studio. And now when you go in, there should be no encryption key thing at all. And then you want to go to Tools, Install Firmware, go to Downloads, Firmware, and then just click Select Folder. And then it should say Installing Firmware, Firmware, should take a second. And then, as you can see, it says 17.0.0.1. But anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have a link on where I can get my games, but all you want to do to get the games is you just want to go to Switch ROMs on it. I cannot go on there, but I will cut to when I got downloaded all my games. All right, now I am back and I downloaded every single one of my games. And uh, now they should come in parts like part one and two. So when you download WinRAR, you should have this thing that says WinRAR when you right click on it and then you can hover over WinRAR and click extract to and it should take a minute to extract but when it is I'm just gonna cut to when it's done all right so now I'm back everything is finished um I just had to extract all my other stuff but all you want to do is you want to make a folder called games or anything really and you just want to put all your single games in here and yeah, and then all you want to do is it should say double click. Um, I'm gonna click add new directory. It should not look the same for you, but you want to go to games and then you just select the folder and now you have all of your games in here. And if you go to configure or configure, you can plug in one of your controllers. So I'm personally gonna plug in my Scuff and Vision Pro. And as you can see it should pop up yes Xbox 360 and if you look on my webcam I'm moving around as you can see it works and then you can go to also to audio graphics and your device always wants to be on your graphics card never wants to be on AMD or your CPU Anyways, uh, you can change the resolution to anything you want. Uh, I'd recommend keeping it on the normal. Any, uh, if you don't have like a best the best PC, I'd put it on OpenGL. Or if you're running on a pretty bad laptop, put it on OpenGL. But if you're running on like a really like a normal PC, like a Elisa 3060, I'd re recommend running on Vulkan. And if you go down to here, you can change your volume. I like to keep it at like pretty low, like 21. But if you want to, you can put it on docked or handheld. So if your stuff is running really bad, then I'd put it on handheld. But if it's perfect, if it's like running slow, put it on handheld. But if it's running perfect, so then just keep it on docked. But that will be it for today's video, guys. Peace out.
Oh, and I forgot to teach you guys how to set up, um, like, the update. But anyways, you just want to go back to Suyu. And then you can go back. And you can go right, so, like, right click. Or no, you go to File, Install to NAND. And then you go to your downloads. Go to, like, your eShop. And then you just click Open. Or if that doesn't work for some reason. All right, here we go. Uh, if you double click on here, like the update, they'll say like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, whatever. And then you just wanna click install. And then you just gotta wait till it's done. And then you do the same exact thing with DLC. All you gotta do is you wanna go file, install to NAND. And then you wanna go to your Wave 6, or personally mine. You should go to here, install, one file to install. And as you can see right next to the name, it says update and DLC 1. But that will be actually it for today's video, guys. Peace out.